The wrestling world has had an amazing event happen uh, yesterday, the 1st of July 2015 in TNA Impact Wrestling. Um, Ethan Carter III won the World Heavyweight Championship from Kurt Angle. And yeah, as you can probably tell, I am I am ecstatic about it. I am so happy. Like, I have been waiting for this for a while, um, but I kind of knew it was coming. I, I heard the other day kind of that... You know, someone was saying that it had happened and I assumed, you know, they would be telling the truth. It wasn't just a spoiler uh, for the sake of um, gaining attention. I had a feeling, you know, it, it happened. But um, yeah, it's happened. And uh, like I said, I'm so happy. I've supported Ethan Carter um, in TNA since day one. Like the first time I saw him um, in his first match uh, with Norv Furman, um, I remember that match at Bound for Glory and just being like really in awe of Ethan Carter and like he has that that X factor and that really special that really special um feel like to him that it's very rare in wrestling um you know there are great wrestlers but Ethan Carter stands like above so many and to me he is like he's on the top level um like he just has that star quality is what I should say. Um yeah, he has that star quality. Um and like I haven't seen as much TNA as I wanted over the last uh, couple of years because I uh, haven't got a TV and stuff at the moment. Um but every time I have seen Ethan Carter, he's looked amazing. Um on the microphone he is awesome, like such a great talker. In the ring he is great. Whenever I've seen him, I remember one match Especially with Bully Ray, where he took some real, he took a beating in that one and he looked like amazing in it. Um, and yeah, credit to TNA as well. They have really packaged him so well. The Ethan Carter gimmick is brilliant. Um, his theme is amazing. Uh, his finisher, the, uh, the one percenter, the first time he did that to North Furman, I thought he practically killed him. It <laughs> looked that impactful. Um, so I, I love that finisher. Um, because it looks great when he does it. And yeah, everything about him is just great. I had seen him under his real name, uh, Derek Bateman, um, in NXT as well. And um, it's strange because I see him as very different to then. But if you looked, I, you know, that potential was always there. Um, but TNA totally gave him the right role. Um, we've seen so many wrestlers in the industry who um, haven't hit that massive level of success because they haven't quite found that found that right role or been given that chance by the company. I mean, you look at people like The Rock and Steve Austin. They didn't start off by um, being given the role they were most comfortable with. It took a while for them to be given uh, the right role that made them make the most of what they could offer and really get to the top and Ethan Carter has been given that chance by TNA so credit to them but also credit to Ethan Carter because his talent um has been was you know just got him up to where he is now and he totally deserves he totally deserves everything he deserves to have had this streak which I think is at 600 and something days now that like, never been defeated in TNA and now he's got the World Heavyweight Championship and he will be an amazing world champion. I truly believe he will be one of the greats. Like he will be up there at the very top of world champions. Um, the reaction the match was getting, because I, I saw the last like a uh, few minutes of it. Um, there was a big reaction to the match, like the fans were really into it. Kurt Angle, obviously, to win your first world championship is amazing. To win it from Kurt Angle is just fantastic because Kurt Angle is, you know, arguably the greatest wrestler in the world. Um, and the fans are really into it. Like, you know, there was the Let's Go Angle EC3 and the fans were into EC3 as well. Like, I have noticed that, um, some people have supported EC3 from the beginning, but obviously, like any, one who uh, goes on that path to stardom, um, a lot more people will join along the way um, when they like think, oh yeah, we like what he's doing as well. And there's been a lot of support for EC3. Like generally, you know, social media is mixed. There will always be negativity, but generally I've seen a lot of positive uh, support for EC3 and I'm so glad that he is getting that support and people are behind him as a world champion generally because 
It's the role, he, it's the position he deserves to be in. And yeah, I just can't say enough good about him. Like, and I'm so happy he's got to that level. I am so happy TNA is still in existence because it's been 13 years now. And like, WWE didn't give him the chance he deserved. In fact, I like, I really don't understand like why they didn't give him that chance. Um, I don't know why Vince looked at uh, Derek Bateman and said, I don't know what to do with him. Um, but what is WWE's loss is TNA's gain. And they've got an amazing world champion now, a, a young world champion. I'm not sure how old he is exactly, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's one of the younger ones. Um, and yeah, it's it's just incredible. And like, I want TNA to go as long as as long as possible. I know there's stuff going off with the uh, company at the moment, as there always seems to be with TNA. It's like every single every single like year with TNA, people are saying, "Oh, this might be the last one," or they're not going to be on TV much longer, whatever it is, you know, I just hope TNA keeps going on for as long as it can because we need it, we need alternatives to the WWE. While I do support WWE, um, I know we need alternatives, we really do. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing where TNA goes with this because I initially thought Ethan Carter was going to win the World Title of Banff Glory. Um, Banff for Glory is in October, so like three months away. Um, so I very much expect uh, Ethan Carter will main event against someone, uh, a, a, like a babyface. Um, I heard someone mention uh, Drew McIntyre, or well, Drew Galloway as he's known, uh, uh, I don't know, um, earlier as a potential challenger for him, which I would enjoy seeing that. Um, but yeah, there's, there's so many options, and um, if, I, I don't know what else to say. Like I'm just made up for him. I'm so... So happy for Ethan, like, everything about him is just perfect, he's done everything right, and he's gone above that, that's what a world champion is, he doesn't just, you know, do what is expected of him and do it well, but he goes above that, and he goes the extra mile, and he's looked incredible every step of the way, I've never seen him look bad ever on a promo, or in the ring, and, like, he is a true world champion, and thank you EC3 for just everything and I can't wait to see the great world title run you have. I have the feeling it won't be the only world title run you have. I think you'll have it um, more than once in your career. I really hope or maybe this will be a very very long title run. Who knows but yeah um, either way it's brilliant to see you holding the World Heavyweight Championship and uh, whenever this happens it gives me hope that you know people like, when we looked at him in NXT, he was, you know, released from WWE at this point. Who would have expected that he would end up being this superstar in TNA, which he is now? And, yeah, he, he is just amazing. So, <laughs> this has basically just been me saying how great Ethan Carter is, but he is. And, like, he deserves all the credit. So, yep, again, congratulations, EC3, Ethan Carter, Derek Bateman. Congratulations to you um and yeah i yeah i'm really looking forward to see where tna goes with this and um that's it i'm lost for words um i really am lost for words because i was so happy seeing it like i really was um it doesn't happen very often in wrestling where you see someone who like you really believe deserves this success and like it you know it, it makes me emotional when it happens because they work so hard like I'm gonna do a video soon about wrestling in general and why I love it and it's gonna be a long video because there are a lot of reasons I love wrestling but days like this are just days like this are just the best and I'm so happy for uh, Derek Bateman um, and his success and I wish him all the best in the world and thank TNA for giving him this chance so yeah thank you all too so much for watching and I hope to see you again in another one of my videos Okay, goodbye everyone. Hey again. Um, yeah, I made a bit of a mistake earlier on in the video. Um, Ethan Carr's real name isn't actually Derek Bateman, it's Michael Hutter. Um, so yeah, congratulations to the man, Michael Hutter. Um, yeah, and a big thank you to uh, everything he's done and everything he continues to do and will do in the future. Um, yeah, I was like really wanting to get that video out earlier because I was really excited to do it, so... Um, I didn't, like, think to check Wiki and check his real name, and, uh, yeah. Now I know that. I know he's 32 as well. So, yeah. Um, 
Thanks for watching and uh, bye. Bye again.